Yeah, hi everyone. Jason here, Robert Law Miles Australia. Um, quick video, going to have a look inside the Luber. So for anyone who's curious on what's actually inside them and what's connected, um, the main reason why I'm actually having a look inside this Luber is to do with the SIM card slot on the back because I'm very curious to see what hardware is inside the robot uh, to go along with the SIM card slot, as I'm sure many people are the same. So I've already taken all the screws out of the bottom of this guy, so the top cover here should just lift off. I've also taken off the antenna cable as well, so let's have a look quickly underneath the cover here, just so you can see what's underneath the actual top cover of Luba. Um, the front system on the, on the suspension there is a really, really strong uh, piece of kit. Um, it really does all clamp together really well. Um, if you were to drop Luba on its front wheels, uh, I suspect that sort of down through here would be the, would be the weakest spot through the plastics here, uh, but it really is certainly really, really strong. Uh, and I'll answer a couple of questions there that uh, a couple of people have asked about uh, about dirt getting into the front end of the system as well in a second. Um, yeah, other than that, under that, all we've got is a little control panel board on the back there uh, with ribbon cable. Um, that's your RTK antenna cable there coming through, going through uh, this little seal here, seal pot, and coming out into the actual antenna that's in the back there. So, and the antenna is just that uh, just that simple uh, disc uh, antenna in the back there. Uh, in the back end of the uh, your, yeah, your push buttons, uh, lights going through here, the seal pots as well out to the back, um, and of course the seal going around the main body of the unit. Um, so I'll touch on that one just quickly because there's been a, quite a lot of uh, questions about the seals um, going around the front. Let's put that to the side there. There's been a lot of questions that people have asked about when the when, when the suspension goes up and down around the seal around the front here, um, how it sort of allows a little bit of a gap there. This whole front system in the front here, and also in the back as well, they're completely op uh, open areas. They're not sealed off to the outside, or well, not to the IP uh, X5 or X6, wherever it's supposed to be, or 6X. Um, so any dirt and dust that does get inside this assembly here, I mean, it's probably not ideal to be in there, um, but it's not really gonna hurt anything. The only thing that's inside there is actually the lift sensor switch, which is on the side here, down the bottom here. So there is a lift sensor in the back there. So if that was to completely gum up with uh, with grass and everything else, well then I suspect that would probably cause some kind of issue. But mostly having a little bit of dust and dirt and grass and things getting inside this front section here is not really gonna be a problem. Um, and exactly the same for the back section. So in the back section, um, there's nothing in there at all. In fact, all you've got is the cable, the, the axle for the back wheels, um, and the cabling coming through for the uh, for the control panel at the back. Okay. Um, pretty much everything outside of this main seal area here um, is the things that they're not really so concerned about. Everything inside that is all completely sealed, uh, which is why they've got their their IP rating that they've got. Um, and obviously, the recent times they've sort of indicated not to not to high pressure wash uh, under the blade system because it can come up through the seals around the actual the um, the cutting height adjustment motors. So, like I mentioned before, um, the main reason why I've actually opened this robot up it was to have a look at the SIM card slot. Now, on the back on the back of the Luber at the moment, there is your USB port and a SIM slot, which I was very, very curious about. So I've opened up this little section here. Um, I can't open any more than this sort of thing because I don't, don't want to break the seal around the side here, but I was able to take a little photo in there and the SIM card uh, adapter there has got no plug in it. So yes, there's a SIM card holder in there, but there is nothing feeding off the SIM card slot back into the, into the main board. Um, and there's also no antenna for 4G or anything else like that. So the hardware for any expected, hopefully in the future, 4G connection um, or, or LTE connection um, doesn't look like it's in Luba at this point in time. It's just the slot in the side there. Um, everything else in the robot, it's all very compact and really well put together, Tower Truth, out of all the robots we pulled apart. Um, these guys really are quite good. Um, they're really, really solid machine. Um, you got your battery pack inside here, uh, which I haven't opened up. It looks awfully small to be a 10 amp battery, but um, obviously it's, uh, I'm not sure what, I actually don't know what voltage it actually runs on, to tell you the truth. It might, it might only be a 21 volt machine. Um, all the cabling is very, very neat. All the plugs are really well put together. There's no real issues with anything um, at all with the robot and how it's actually built. They've done a really good job. Uh, and they've also sort of glued all the plugs down as well. So a lot of the plugs uh, in most robots aren't glued uh, or out here. Yeah, just, just temporarily glued so they can turn, so they don't vibrate loose. Um, and then essentially we've got uh, like the E22 chip here 
and um, we'll process it here is going to be your um, 900 megahertz uh, antenna so there's your antenna there that's your 900 megahertz back to the rtk reference station um, and then you've got the um you know, little processor there for the wi-fi it's your wi-fi chip and everything else there to go through to the little wi-fi antenna that's there so everything is really compact the main board on top there um, it's pretty simple. Underneath that is obviously the um, is, the, is our motor driver board. Uh, so for, for driving all the motors, everything else. Again, it's all compact. It's all put together really, really well. Um, I'm you know really am quite impressed by how these guys have actually put the robot together. It's um, they've really done a really good job. But like I say, the uh, the LTE uh, connection or the SIM card slot in the back there, unfortunately, does not mean that there's any hardware in here to actually have an LTT, LTE uh, connection. In, in the future anytime soon so hopefully later on there might be an expansion kit that they might be able to put in these guys um, I'm not sure they're obviously thinking about something because they've put the slot in the back uh, so there's obviously there's there's room for them to actually to provide hardware to make the other uh, 4G connection actually work I think that's it guys if you've got any questions um, about anything about Luba um, or any other robot mower for that matter um, just please send us an email at sales at robotlawmowers.com.au um, or you can check out all the other information we've got on our website at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au um, or you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram, just search for Robot Lawnmowers Australia. Thanks for watching.